So for those who don't know, I had a health scare recently and I wanted to bring awareness to the situation and talk about it. So things really took a turn for me this summertime is when my health really hit the fan. And I'm someone who really doesn't have a lot of health issues, so this was kind of a shock, but I wanted to talk about it. So this summer I had an issue where I had a really bad facial infection and it was on my cheek and it was like growing and it went almost to my eye. So I actually almost went to the ER for the situation, but I went to urgent care and it was during the 4th of July week. So um, they just got me on prescriptions, a really tough prescription, and that was healed, thank goodness. But I thought that was the end of my health issues for this year. It was not. So now, after that situation, I noticed on my back that I had like a red rash and like chronic itching. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should call and see if I can get an appointment with the dermatologist. So I ended up going to my primary care doctor to get a referral, hopefully. And I went to my primary care doctor and it took about a month for me to even get in to see her. And then once I did see her, she did a full body scan on me and she noticed and said, yeah, I'm going to actually give you a referral. I normally don't give people referrals for the dermatologist usually, but this one on your back is a little bit concerning. There was a mole on my back that was a little bit concerning that she wanted to get looked at and also the rash too. They thought they could actually get some kind of like prescription for me. So then I was referred to the dermatologist finally. And then when I got to the dermatologist, it took about like a month for me to get in there as well. So I recently just went there and they did a full body check on me and I told them my family history. Like I actually have um, skin cancer in my family. My dad had basal cell carcinoma and my cousin had uh, melanoma. And there's probably other ones in my family I'm just not aware. But I knew I was um, at risk considering I have like fair skin, fair hair, so I knew I was at risk and also like with my family issues too. So uh, she did the full check and there were several spots too that I thought were questionable that she might want to look at. But the only one that she was really concerned about was one on my back. And she also said too that the rash was nothing to be worried about. It was actually not related to um, the other issue. So I thought it was maybe like connected somehow, like maybe it was cancer or something like skin cancer. And uh, she's like, oh yeah, it's actually a normal rash that happens with people in their 30s. And so she prescribed me a cream for that, thank goodness. It was a really expensive cream, but it has been working. And I haven't been able to sleep because of the rash on my back. Like I've been just chronically not feeling good. So I've been feeling a little better, sleeping better, eating better. <laughs> but so then they saw a mole on my back that they said was concerning and they wanted to take a look at. So they decided to biopsy um, a mole on my back and I can tell you how it looked too. It wasn't one I was super suspicious of, but I thought was kind of weird. So I saw some dermatologist videos like on TikTok and they told me to look out for like um, a mole that was like the ugly duckling. And this mole was not like a weird border or like odd looking except for the fact that it was like almost like a black color. Like it just stood out on my back. It almost looked like a permanent marker, but it was like small and still like symmetrical kind of looking. And so they decided to biopsy it. And she said, oh yeah, let's just biopsy this just to make sure that you're okay. Because um, we just wanna check this one off, just like standard procedure. So she gives me the biopsy sheet. And also I got a shave biopsy. So all they did was numb my back and then take a little razor and just shave it. And it literally didn't even hurt. And uh, it literally almost felt like a bee sting. Uh, so it was a very minor situation. Um, so they gave me a sheet to make sure I was maintaining myself and make sure that I wasn't getting an infection and I was taking care of my back and also what to do because they're going to have to go and give me uh, biopsy results. So what they're testing for is to see if it's malignant or um, if it's benign. So like cancer versus not cancerous. And they'll give you a call and give you more information about what's going on. So, and most of the time it's usually not skin cancer. It's actually, I think it's like a very small percentage of all biopsies are like cancer. I was looking at it when I was waiting for my results because I had a lot of time. So it was like two weeks exactly until I got my uh, results. And what ended up happening was um, I had, it said on the sheet that if you didn't hear back from the dermatologist to give them a call, it was like 10 business days and I didn't get a call back. So I called them and said, hey, um, 
just letting you know that I haven't gotten my biopsy results back. Just want to know what's going on. And um, so they had this, um, this dermatologist that I went to specifically was one where there's several locations in my state and also my city. So the number I was calling was actually for another city in my state. It was just a general line to give you like information about your biopsy. And I was kind of weirded out because when I actually reached this line, she confirmed my information and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, we have your biopsy results. I'm actually going to have to transfer you though to your dermatologist to give you more information about your biopsy. And I immediately, my heart was in my stomach because I was like, uh-oh, like wouldn't they normally just tell you if it's nothing? You know, like I was almost assuming, oh my gosh, like is this cancer? Like, um, is this something more serious? Do I need more work done? What's going on? So sure enough, they have to transfer me to the place where I got my original biopsy. And what had happened was um, they actually sent my call there and they weren't even open in the office. And they still ended up calling me back, which was weird. So I guess they always have someone on staff. And what ended up happening was she's like, hey, is this Nicole? We just got your message for... Um, your dermatology results and I was like yes and she said okay just letting you know so first off you do not have cancer so yay (laughs) congratulations and but the but word (laughs) so what I have is a dysplastic nevi which is an atypical mole and um, this mole I guess so the one question she asked me about this mole because the one thing that was concerning about it was the color And it wasn't, like, multiple colors, but, like, the color was just, it stood out on my back. And that's why she did that, even. Like, why she did the biopsy on my back. And um, I wasn't sure. She was actually saying that, like, the reason because it was evolving was why she wanted to biopsy it. And sure enough, they're like, well, you know, it is. um, So basically what a dysplastic nevi is, is it's almost between, like, a regular mole and cancer. So... I, it's irregular and sometimes it needs, um, no treatment and sometimes it does. And I was in the boat where it does need treatment. So I actually have excision, sur- um, excisional, I'm not sure exactly what it is off the top of my head. I think it's excision surgery that I have and it's booked for next week, Monday. <laughs> and I'm just glad though it's not uh, skin cancer though, even though, you know, I could have I could have dealt with it if I really had to. You know, my family's gone through it. Um, I would have dealt with it either way. I'm a fighter, but it was not cancer. And I wanted to share my story because if anyone else has had like a similar situation um, going on, because there were so many things going on this summer, I thought that maybe it could be related from, you know, taking all that medication from my face um, infection, but it actually wasn't. So I'm glad that I was able to get it checked out. And yeah, so... I caught this early and they said that it has the potential to get to something more serious like cancer if I don't get it. It's not like precancerous or cancer, but it is something that could lead to it one day or even make me more at risk for it one day. So they wanted to just take it off and I'm totally fine with that. I would much rather have that and be safe than sorry. So I'm really glad that I caught this spot sooner. And if your body is feeling any sort of way, go get it checked out because you're most likely right. And it, luckily I caught this spot early and what they're going to do is they're going to basically um, do the same thing as last time. They're going to numb my back and they're going to do surgery around the biopsy. So most of my mole should be gone, but what they're going to do is make sure that all the cells are gone think one day that it could lead to something more but it's not there yet so they're just being cautious and I'm really glad and a little nervous to get surgery but I know it's nothing severe so I will get through it and if you guys want like more information about the surgery when I get it done I'll let you guys know so yeah so you guys definitely go get your skin checks